Hello again, Tom from Every Step Calculus, EverystepPhysics.com. A problem in partial derivatives. Index 8 to get to my menu. I'm already at partial derivatives for save time. And we're going to use the, my, the function I'm going to use is x and y, so I'm going to choose that one. We have to press alpha before we enter anything into these entry lines here. And the function is alpha alpha second y, which is sine, and it's x divided by y. I always show you what you've entered. You can change it if you want. Say it's OK. And the first partial derivatives. I haven't figured out what partial deri derivatives do, or are for. I mean, it doesn't seem like it beats the slope of a line when you're finding the derivatives, partial derivatives, but calculus has some useless nonsense to go along with this that probably some professor can tell me, um, even though none of us care. Um, so there's the first part, the second partials are right here. Pretty long there. I'd like to see anybody do that partial right there. Um, and then you can compute it at a point if you want. Let's just do that for the fun of it. Alpha 0.7 for the x value and alpha 5 for the y value, 7, 5. Say it's OK. You add that other thing, and here's the answer. What that means, I have no idea. And when you put it in the second partial for y, equals that. Pretty neat, huh? EverystepCalculus.com. Go to my site, buy my programs, and pass your way through calculus. If you need any help, always give me a call. I'm ready to help you. Um, calculus, the Sudoku, Sudoku of math. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, have a good one.